Good day everyone, today we will be discussing the congruent triangles. Let's start with the definition. So the definition of congruent triangles. Two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. So we have here a new word for you, corresponding. When we say corresponding, how are we going to write the corresponding sides and angles? Because we are dealing with the parts of the triangles. Parts means the sides and our angles. Now, let us use the two triangles here. So we know that they are congruent if we're going to test the side and their angles. So I will get the first triangle. Okay, then place it on the second triangle on top. So if I will put it here, we know that they are congruent or equal. So I will write, I will put it here. Then the other triangle, I will put it on this part. So and I will name it. Let's say this is A, B, C. And this angle is X, Y, and Z. Now let us name the corresponding angles and corresponding parts. So in this case, we know that A, or angle A, corresponds, so this is our symbol for correspondence, corresponds to angle X. Next, angle B corresponds to angle Y. And angle C corresponds to angle Z. So this is our angle. Now, how about the sides? So side BA, side BA corresponds to our side XY and side AC corresponds to our side XZ and lastly side BC corresponds to our side YZ so we have here our angles and our sides if that is the case, we now conclude that, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. That is the congruent triangles and its definition. You will also encounter the C P C T C. That means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. C, P, C, T, C. And the correspondence. And the definition of congruent triangles. Again, in order for you to check or determine whether the two triangles are congruent, you need to test its part, its angles, and decides whether it corresponds to each other. Now let's have a series of examples. Now let's have our examples for congruent triangles. Example number one. We have the given triangle XYZ is congruent to triangle RST. We have our illustration here, XYZ and the triangle RST. Now name the pairs of congruent sides and congruent angles. So our congruent Let's start with the congruent sides. 
So x z. So side x z. Just check the markings. X z. We have two markings here. So congruent to s t. S t. Next side z y is congruent to side r t and lastly side x y is congruent to side s r or r s and for the congruent angles we have angle t is congruent to angle z angle s is congruent to angle y and angle r is congruent to angle x so let's check we're going to write it in that position or put it in that position that will give us uh, it will fit our corresponding angles and corresponding signs. Now, for example number two, okay, name, what will be our unknown here? Name the congruency statement. Congruency statement. So we have two triangles. We have the ABC, triangle ABC, and triangle BCD. Using the markings, we can identify that A or angle A is equal to angle D. And of course, the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles. So we can conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BCD. That will be the congruency statement. And for our third example, given triangle TWO congruent to triangle SIX and measure angle O is 55 and SI is 4. SI is 4. Find measure angle X. Measure angle X. Measure angle X. We know that measure angle X is equal to the measure angle O. O. Angle O is equal to X. In the given, we have the measure of angle O. So we can get that by substitution. Substitution. So we have 55 degrees. And for letter B, find side TW. We know that side TW is equal to side SI. Now we have our given. SI is equal to 4. So TW is equal to S. Ah, is equal to 4, the given. So that is the congruent triangles. The corresponding parts of two congruent triangles are congruent. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.